Okay, so the piston rings have now been changed for O rings. And she's sounding, she's got a nice beat back. If I quickly run the, run the, uh, the air pump, the compressor. Let it build up a little bit. There are a few other little leaks, like there's one on this. There we go. Okay, and that's the point when my little fridge compressor can't keep up. The areas of work next on her is the wear in the motion. Our axle boxes on the center axle, the driving axle, do have a little bit of wear in them, but nothing, nothing scary. The outside ones are pretty good. But they're all, the axle boxes and the axles are fine. Fine for the wear she's gonna get. Now, the rest of the wear is in the motion here. I'm going to give it a quick wipe because it's all caked, coated in oil, isn't it? As these things do get coked in oil. And get, just get bits of it off. I mean, right, so. If I get hold of the spokes here, watch how much it all moves. Without this wheel doing anything. You see the wear there. And the wear in the gradient pin there. Yeah, see that? Okay. So that's one thing to attack. Another thing to attack. See, there's not a lot of wear on the on the on the driving pin for the valve gear. I don't know what you technically call that, but there's not a lot of wear on that. There's not a lot of wear there. There is quite a bit of wear on this, which I can't show you because the way the valve gear is, it's kind of got a lot of weight on it. So if I take that off a minute, there we go. Take the weight off the valve gear. Oh yeah, see that rock in there in that support bush because the expansion link is only supported one from one side uh, as in common on a lot of LBSC and that's warm and then if we can focus on that other end there we go come on focus thank you um, there's a bit it's quite a lot of play in the little end Again, if I do that, you can see it rocking about. Look at that. So, that as well, the two die blocks, what I'm looking at, possibly replacing. But one thing at a time. Right, okay, excuse the fan noise. It's bloody cold. So, I'm taking the rod off. And the return crank. So now it's time to try and let the little end go. Because this is now free. With the little end gone, I could be able to take this crank bearing off. Now, here comes the problem with the little end pin, the gudgeon pin, whatever you want to call this. The crosshead, as on as is common on LBSC designs, is only single-sided. It has no backside, the other side of the crank rod piston rod, connecting rod, rod. All it is is the pin has a round flat head on it. Now, round is what's causing me the problem here because there's nothing for a spanner to get hold of. That comes through, it's always got a shoulder on it that this nut goes down. Right, we're going handheld for this next bit so you can see it. So we've got the nut off and we'll push it back. You can see it's disappeared up there. So just to make sure, we're going to shove an Allen key up there to push it right. It's right back. But I can't get it out. <laughs> Here's a snag. See that? It's right up against the wheel. So it's not actually enough space to get the pin out the back. And no, this doesn't bar over at all because it's held by the crossbar, the slide bars. Which are doing their job very well. There's not a lot of wear on them. Now, you might see she's kind of floating there up to this overhead hoist, which came from the Lincolns. Thank you very much, it comes in very useful. 
the Camille Miani workshop. Now, these pins, all that's holding them in, all that's fouling them, I should say, is the axle, is the front wheel. So I'm wondering how much effort it would be to drop just the front axle out of the way. You can see both rods are disconnected. The rods are laying here. So this is to look underneath and see what's in the way of dropping that because it is just these nut, these bolts holding the spring keeps on to hold the axles in. Now on this centre axle we've got the um, lubricator eccentric. But that might be able to stay attached if there's enough movement in it. The one that I'm looking at now is the draincock reach rod, which is just nut and bolted up here. So if I let that go, swing that down, undo those spring axle, those keep bolts, I should be able to drop this axle out of the way or out the way enough, hopefully, that I might be get those pins out. Anyway, let's have a look. Yeah, see? Plenty of movement on that eccentric. So now they're dropped out of the way. I should be able to come up here, push that out. I can. And move it out the back. There we go, see? Convoluted way of doing it, but we've got the pin out. And now we see the back. And see, there are actually two drive pins in it. So if you had the right circlet pliers, could have held that from the back all along. And of course, around the other side should be the same trick. Yes. So that is the rods all off. Time to investigate.